Hi everyone, my name is Max Wild. I'm a producer, saxophone player, and instructor at Dubspot in New York. Today we're going to be talking about chord voicings. Chord voicings are ways to shape chords in a more interesting way. Normally, when we start out and play chords from the root going up the chord, it sometimes sounds a little bit boring. And if we listen to, let's say, a jazz piano player, they might actually flip some of the notes around and make this chord sound really nice and crunchy. And that's what we're trying to go for here. If you watched my last tutorial, we were talking about chord extensions and incorporating some of the higher extensions such as the 9. We were speaking about the minor 7th chord and adding a 9. Here's our C, minor 3rd, 5th, minor 7th, and the 9. This is C minor 9. Now, when piano players play this voicing, they usually just play this in their right hand and then they play the bass note or the, the root in their left hand or maybe a bass instrument, but we'll play the root. And they will be left in the right hand with a voicing that consists of the third, fifth, seventh, and ninth. That is one voicing that is very useful to know and gets you a very nice sound. Now, the flip side of that voicing, which is also very common, found in jazz, is the inversion of that, taking the 9th and the 7th down an octave and playing them right here. That would be the 7, 9, 3rd, 5th inversion. Same exact notes, just in a different inversion and slightly different voicing. That is actually the voicing that Disclosure was using on white noise. So now let's do that same thing with F minor. Here's F minor 7 and the 9. Here's our first voicing 3, 5, 7, 9. Now if we take the 3 and the 5 up an octave, we are left with the second type of voicing, which is. 7, 9, 3, and 5. Now the cool thing about that is if we combine the two voicings, we can move really easily between the two chords. Here is C minor 9, played as 7, 9, 3, 5. Going to F minor 9, using the first uh, voicing I showed you, three, five, seven, nine. So if we take a look at the way that we would normally play a voicing without really changing the shape of the chord, we would play a C minor nine stacked up in thirds like this, and then we would play an F minor nine stacked up in thirds like this. This is the conventional way that one would play that chord. However, if we play it in context, going from C minor 9 to F minor 9, it would sound like this. And that's okay, but it would sound so much smoother if we just played it the way that maybe a jazz pianist would play, switching between the two voicings that I just showed you. If we just analyze what we just played here, it's very interesting to see that this G, which is the fifth of the C minor 9, now becomes the ninth of the F minor 9. And it's also really interesting to see that the minor third of the C minor 9 becomes the minor seventh of the F minor nine. That way we are creating this very nice voice leading moving from one chord to the next. Yes, we do learn to play chords in a certain way. However, 
you don't necessarily have to play it the way that it is taught and in fact it might sound better if you shuffle around some of the notes to create a voicing that is more interesting, sounds better, especially in the context of the music that you're playing. So thank you again for watching, I hope this was helpful. For more information on our courses in New York, LA and online, please visit dubspot.com. My name is Max Wild, thank you all for watching, see you next time. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.